time for us to talk a little bit of Rewind, brought to you by our friends at AMC Theatres. This is a segment we uh, we playfully call the feeling old segment because you just can't believe these movies are this old. <laughs> We're, this is where we talk a little bit about the films that have turned 10 years old this week and the films celebrating their 20th anniversary this week. So let's start with the ones that are turning 10. The movies turning 10 are, of course, the Jennifer Aniston... Uh, I said that, That's not Jude Law. That's... Uh, Clive uh, Owen, Clive baby. Owen. Yeah. And Clive Owen classic Derailed. We have the 50 Cent classic Get Rich or Die Tryin'. And we have the Joss Hutcherson classic Zathura, A Space Adventure. Turning... I can't believe this one. Turning 20 years old this week, the sequel, <laughs> Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls. I cannot believe that movie is 20 years old. Anyway, Schnapp, this list of four films we got here celebrating anniversaries, which one stands out to you? Well, I remember Zathura standing out because it was disappointing to me. I was looking forward to it, and it just didn't hit it for me, so I remember not really liking it. I remember seeing... Uh, the 50 Cent movie, like on basic cable at like two in the morning. The same year it came out, I just think it went right to basic cable. And uh, it was fun. Uh, it doesn't really stand out to me. But uh, the one that does stand out the most is the Ace Ventura. That I can't believe that the sequel is 20 years old, let alone the original one. And once again, the sequel wasn't as funny as the first Ace Ventura Pet Detective, which I loved. The sequel fell flat in so many different ways that it never had another sequel. So. What about you, Mark? Which yeah, one stand out? I agree. I mean, I, I was a kid growing up. Jim Carrey was a monster influence on mm -hmm. me from In Living Color. And then when he had Ace Ventura come out, I never laughed so hard in a movie theater. I can still watch Ace Ventura Pet Detective to this day and laugh every yep. moment. Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls, was just a bummer. And I remember like walking out of the theater, and it's like one of those things, like, how do you handle a disappointment like that? Because it was like, maybe I need to go see it again. Because some of the jokes in there were funny, but overall it felt like Jim Carrey was doing an impression of Ace Ventura rather than actually becoming the character. And I was very impressed by Get Rich or Die Trying, and Derailed was a movie that I just remember thinking, I'm so waiting for Netflix for this one, or whatever <laughs> service at the time is going to let me get my DVD. Maybe Redbox wasn't around then. It was called then, Blockbuster at the time. It was, it w I would go to let Blockbuster. Let me tell you tales of the ancient company <laughs> called the Blockbuster. blue box where you I would look at that. these boxes for hours. Somebody asked us a, a while ago on, on Movie Talk, what was the last movie you remember renting? Derailed might have been that. It might not have been Blue Crush. It might have been Derailed. I, I, this slight block, I don't know why I'm thinking this, a little bit of an aside. So I was interviewing, um, who was I talking to? I was sitting down with uh, Zach Galifianakis and Will Ferrell. Wow. And uh, for, I won't go into why, but they, Zach Alphanax and Will Ferrell were, pu were pulling money out of their wallet to give to me. I'll explain that in another story. <laughs> so they're pulling money out of the wallet, and Will Ferrell goes, he goes I, I, I've got a Blockbuster card. <laughs> and, and Zach Galifianakis goes, well, you're really up to date. And he goes, what are you talking about? I just bought stock in this company. I think it was a solid <laughs> investment. <laughs> and and yeah, it was funny. The one that stands out to me on this list is, is Ace Ventura Pet Detective, uh, too, because I remember... It being, I think, the first comedy sequel where I learned the very harsh lesson in life, sometimes comedy sequels really suck. Mm -hmm. I was, you, you can't understand how much I love the first Ace Ventura Pet Detective. It's the movie that I first fell in love with, Courtney Cox, and she was like my mm. celebrity crush for a good 10 years <laughs> after watching that movie. And then I saw the sequel, and I don't even think Courtney was in the sequel nope. at all. Nope. There's the one moment in When Nature Calls where uh, Jim Carrey is coming out of the mechanical rhinoceros's backside yeah. and somebody sees it happening. I remember thinking, okay, I chuckled a little bit at that, but oh, I mean, that movie was just so bad on so many levels. And as big as Jim Carrey's career got, can you imagine if he railed off Ace Ventura Pet Detective, The Mask, and then a good Ace Ventura Pet Detective 2? Right. Like, it, it's big now, but it's hard to imagine. Like, if he didn't have that big road bump, how much bigger it would have gotten in that time period? Yeah, it's it was like imagine. his first three movies, Ace Ventura, The Mask, and Dumb and Dumber, came out right. of the gate so hard. And then mm -hmm. Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls, and Cable Guy, even though a lot of people really loved that movie, wasn't critically, or right. it didn't do that well at the box office. So that was kind of like the, yeah, okay. Cable Guy is an underrated film. I, I oh, it watched is. it a yeah. couple times recently in the last few years. It is fantastic. And Directed by Derek Zoolander. That's right. Yeah. Uh, really? I didn't yeah, realize that. Yeah, Ben Stiller did a great job on that. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.